Hey viewers, this is Devinder Kaur and welcome to my YouTube channel The Enlightened Room. In this video, we're going to talk about some curious questions from the chapter Gravitation. So, stay tuned to my video, watch my video complete to get your answers. So, in our first question, they asked what happens when two bodies of mass 1 kilogram each are at 1 meter apart. So, what they want to ask is would there be any kind of any uh, force of attraction or gravitational force of attraction between these two masses whose between these two bodies whose mass is just one kilogram okay let us talk about it now we have two bodies right we have a body a and body b this body has also mass one kilogram this one has also mass one kilogram right and the distance between them is one meter so we're going to take it from their center okay one meter distance right so as we would be asked, uh, talking about the gravitational force of attraction this topic this whole video is about the gravitational force of attraction so what is the formula for gravitational force of attraction it is g m1 m2 over r squared right now you all know the value of g the universal gravitational constant what is the value of g it is 6.67 into 10 to the power negative 11 newton meters square over kilogram squared now mass m1 is 1 kilogram mass m2 is 1 kilogram over the distance is 1 meter and it would be the scale of the distance so as we solve this unit would cancel out these two units would cancel out other values are just one so what would happen it would be the force of gravitation would be 6.67 into 10 to the power negative 11 Newton which is very small right but what does it prove it proves that no matter how much smaller the bodies is how much smaller the distance is no matter if those bodies could move uh, could travel towards each other or not but they are applying the gravitational force of attraction upon each other well they cannot come towards each other or collide or just join the reason is because the gravitational force of attraction here is very weak but it is present in some quantity whether it is small but it is present in some quantity okay now this first part is completed now we are to the second part in which this asks when a body what happens when a body of mass one kilogram is held on the surface of earth now with this question you would be covering another question like when you drop some object why does it fall okay you would be able to answer that question uh, mathematically or you can say experimentally okay now as they are saying the body of mass one kilogram that means m1 is one kilogram it is on the surface of earth here is our earth okay that body is present on the surface of earth so this is body a this is body b our earth is body b so its mass is i have already written because it is kind of difficult to remember the mass of earth it is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kilogram now as you all can see the object is present on the surface of earth so the radius of earth we can also measure the radius like this right so the radius of earth would be the distance between the center between the uh, object a and object b taken from the center right so the radius of earth would be the distance taken from the center of the bodies and the radius of earth is 
फोर इंटू टेन टू द पावर सिक्स मीटर ओके सो ना वे गन अप्लाई द सेम फॉर्मूला विच इज एफ इक्वल जी एम वन एम टू ओवर आर स्क्वेर ना वी हैव जी एस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू टेन टू द पावर नेगेटिव इलेवन न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वेयर पर कुलम पर किलोग्राम स्क्वेयर टाइम्स मास वन किलोग्राम टाइम्स मास सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी फोर किलोग्राम ओवर द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द बॉडीज टेकन फ्रॉम द सेंटर एंड इट वुड बी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन टू द पावर सिक्स मीटर स्क्योर now this whole equation is very large so you all would going to need a calculator to solve it so the answer would be approximately the gravitational force of attraction would be approximately equal to 9.8 newton now this is very large as compared to this one right that means this is the gravitational force of attraction between the earth and us we are at the surface of earth right and even all the objects around us so when you drop something when you drop this thing or anything what would happen it would fall because of this huge quantity of gravitational force of attraction between the body present on the surface of earth and earth okay now let us come to the third part now we have covered the second part let us come to the third part in the third part when the both the bodies are heavy so for both the bodies are heavy i have taken the heavy bodies the first one is earth on which we are standing or living the second one is our moon okay our natural satellite moon so as you all can see the mass of earth M1 is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kilogram. Now with this question, you would be able to answer one more question, and that question is what makes a moon revolve around Earth? Okay, and the mass of moon is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kilogram. And now uh, we're not going to take the radius of Earth and moon. we have earth here we have moon here revolving around the earth so we're going to take the distance between the centers of these two bodies and that distance is 3.84 into 10 to the power 8 meter which is too large right now we're going to apply this formula f equals 6.67 to 10 to the power negative 11 newton meter square per kilogram square Oh, I learned it completely. And M one is six into ten to the power twenty four kilogram. M two is seven point four into ten to the power twenty two kilogram. Over the distance between the Earth and Moon, that is three point eight four into ten to the power eight meter squared. Again, you are all gonna need a calculator for this, but. our answer would be after solving approximately equal to 2.01 into 10 to the power 20 newtons now this is huge as compared to this one well this one is completely huge so this amount of gravitational force of attraction is making the moon revolve around earth you all can say that because this is a gravitational force of attraction between the earth and moon the two heavy objects you can also find the gravitational force of attraction between sun and earth between jupiter and earth between pluto and earth well if we are able to measure the exact distance between the pluto and earth or pluto and sun okay and any other planet with the other planet you can find the gravitational force of attraction between them and with any star if you have the correct data and also for the terrestrial objects not just for the celestial ones but also for the terrestrial objects now the reason why i am solving these concepts these questions which you think would not be in your syllabus but they are indirectly in your syllabus indirectly in your books in the form of numericals okay so 
If you have liked my video, liked my concept, then do hit the like button and click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon. Thank you so much.